Now, suppose if I conduct a slip test out of 10 marks, 10 marks slip test I conducted for 40 children in a class. So, the varieties of marks are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Some children may get to 0, some children may get to 1, some may get to 2, some may get to 10. Okay. So, suppose one child got to 0, 3 got 1, 2 got to 2, 3 got some 5, 4 got again 5, so 15, 17, then 3, 8, 2, 3, 6, 1. Suppose, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 16, 21, 31. So, these are the marks. So, here what happened? This first line is marks. First line is marks. Second line is number of students that we can denote as frequency. First line, marks. Second line, number of students that we can denote as marks. Okay. So, like this we got. Now, what happened? Here, one child go to zero. So, for finding the average or, or mean, what we can do? One child go to zero means the total marks is zero into one. One, three child got, three children got one mark means total mark is one into three, three. Two children got two marks means total mark is two into two. Next one, 3 into 5, 4 into 5, 5 into 3, 6 into 8, 7 into 2, 8 into 3, 9 into 5, 10 into 1. So these we have to add and divide with the total number of children 40. This gives the average. Understood? No need of counting 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. No need of doing like that. We can just multiply and then we can add. Okay. So, if we do like this, the method will be easy. So, what we are going to do is, if the marks we are taking as x1, x2, x3, etc., xn. And the frequencies means f1 child got, f1 got x1 marks, f2 got x2, f3 got x3, etc., fn got xn. Then the mean x bar is equal to what we are getting x1 f1 plus x2 f2 plus etc plus xn fn divided by f1 plus f2 plus etc plus fn. This will be the mean. This shortest form is x bar is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi fi divided by sigma i is equal to 1 to n fi. Okay. So, this is the mean formula. Second formula. When any observation is repeating like this, then the mean formula is x bar is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi fi divided by sigma i is equal to 1 to n fi. Okay, so I will write once again. So, what we are getting? x bar is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi fi divided by sigma i is equal to 1 to n fi. 
or this we can write once again sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi fi divided by capital n capital n means sum of all the frequency so this is the mean formula second case when observations are repeating mean formula is sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi fi divided by capital n where capital n represent the sum of all the frequencies